Welcome to Create with Piper. My name is Piper, and today you will be learning all about gerbils. So today we will be learning about gerbils, and we'll be learning how to take care of one, how to handle them, and what, you, where you should get them, and more stuff like that. So my gerbils' names are Sweetie is the white one. She's a little bit naughty. Um, Granger is the kindest one we have. If you've read Harry Potter, that's exactly where I got the name from. is very simple actually um so I was reading a book about horses one night and I'm very I really like horses and then one day um when I was reading about horses dad asked why do you like horses so much and I was like well you can ride them and I want a furry friend and I like to work for them and I got got him thinking Would, have you ever thought about having a smaller pet and I was like mm -hmm. And so th that Saturday, I've been learning about them, watching YouTube videos, exactly like this one. And I got to know about them. It took about a week. And then I went on Saturday to VIPS, that's the one I recommend, um, for my gerbils. up how to get for your dribbles. It's kind of simple, kind of complicated. So first I'd say I got a whole bunch of lists from online and stuff like that. And but first I did like I got a list and I checked the list off like like just to know they are very social creatures. <laughs> uh, and like so you might want two or more dribbles. Yeah, I guess you can have as many as you want, but that's a good health care tip. And another tip, never pull, hold them by their tails, because their tails will fall off. That's a defense. And um, so care tips, I'd say you need a water feeder and fill it up. I'd say every morning. I don't do it every morning. I do it when it's empty, but you probably should do it every morning. good things about gerbils and not so good things about gerbils. So one thing is they're very furry. Their tails are furry so it's really cute. But seriously, don't pull them up by the tail. And the bad thing is my room smells bad and they poop. <laughs> <laughs> my room doesn't always smell bad but sometimes it does. My gerbils don't like sweet potatoes, but you might want to try them because sometimes they have them. They eat them, but they don't really like them. Um, I recommend this food because, well, they eat everything in it pretty much. Um, so, yeah, it's almost empty. I got a new one the other day. Now, to keep them very healthy, you need a sand bath for them. Now, we got this online, so I don't know where I got this really from, but it's a very good kind. They roll in it, and it's very fun to see. And you might want to get them some chew toys. This is one of my best chew toys. They are sticks. Sweetie devoured them. They chew on them because they bite and they nibble. So it's a very, they have really long teeth, so it helps their teeth not grow really big. So there are some fun activities with gerbils. I so you can get a cardboard box and then you can get these things online. They're like playhouses for the gerbils, and they are. I have don't have one, but it's called a gerbil amusement park. I read it about in a book. It looks very fun for the gerbils. Second, you can make gerbil mazes. Like you can get cardboard and make mazes. And third, 
you can make little snowflakes. You can give them a piece of paper and I'll chew down. And they'll make it into a snowflake. Bye, this is the end of our video. If you have any questions, go down and go down to the comments. Um, thank you for watching my video. If you don't, if you get a gerbil, hooray! If you don't and you're just learning, hooray too! Hope you see I hope I see you next time.